Ladies and gentlemen, we are live at another restaurant here in Naples, Florida. We are at Cafe Alfredo here in the Vanderbilt shops. We are going to be introducing their restaurant, their food. We even have some special guests with us. Um, we have Megan. Megan is actually behind the camera holding it today. She's going to come in closer and see us. So guys, restaurant week. This is why we're here. May 31st to June 13th. It's sponsored, presented by Mercedes-Benz of Bonita Springs. It benefits our Sizzle Southwest Florida Food and Beverage Scholarship. It's also presented by Greg Norman Collection at Miramar Outlets. And why do we do Restaurant Week? It's, it's one of the bigger events here in Southwest Florida. It includes the best restaurants, 71 to be exact, putting together two course lunches and three course dinners at an affordable price. And we do that because we have two shoulder months here in Southwest Florida. We have the winter when it's after Thanksgiving, before Christmas, when restaurants need a little business and no one's eating after Thanksgiving. Uh, no one's shopping before Christmas, so that makes perfect sense. And then we have our spring edition, which is right now, starting next week, May 31st, June 13th, after Mother's Day. All the restaurants can do a little business. And if you guys have been following us, this is more for the locals. We have a lot of awesome restaurants. We have some restaurants that participate in the spring edition because they really, really want to reach out to the locals. And we even have a special guest with us today. I'm going to introduce Alex. Alex is with... Uh, Univision Television and De Latinos Magazine. And how are you doing, man? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me, Rafael. Awesome, awesome. Now, here's a question. You you followed us for a little bit. You've seen, you've, you've done Restaurant Week yourself. As a diner, and someone that's even in the media, like, what do you look forward to with something like this? Well, I look forward to always seeing what's coming new to Southwest Florida in terms of restaurants, food selections. There's an amazing variety of different types of restaurants here, in, not in just Naples, but in Fort Myers as well. Um, so what I look forward to in Restaurant Week is obviously the new vendors. Um, and my favorite one personally is uh, Shula's Restaurant. And Cafe Alfredo is amazing as well. They have a great food selection. Beautiful. And I love, I just I love everything about Restaurant Week. It's super fun. Awesome. Well, speaking of Cafe Alfredo's, we're actually going to get into the food. Alex, thank you so much. Thank we're going to sit down. We're actually with Chef Alfredo, mm -hmm. Chef JC. Alfredo, how are you? How are you doing? Alfredo is the owner of Cafe Alfredo's, JC, executive chef. Well, listen, chef, I'm going to start with you over here. Um, you've been you've been with us for well, three years. Three years now, since yes. 2015. You've been one of our first restaurants. What do you? Why do you keep coming back in Restaurant Week? Well, let's put it this way: since you guys come in for this excitement for the Restaurant Week, and you bring the people over here, and we follow you because we're growing up every day, better and better. Awesome, awesome. And do you see new people in the doors for Restaurant Week? Yes, we do. We see new people coming all the time after Restaurant Week. It, they and follow us. Beautiful. And, Alf and Alfredo was one of the first restaurants that uh, you you were one of the founding restaurants. And we brought you on the radio, a few radio shows. Yes, we and one of the so tell us. I mean, you got to give the same pitch. Why, if if not Alfredo's, why not? What's what's special about this restaurant? Well, let's put it this way. We have a good service. We got a good food, and we have a good personality. We love the people. We love to feed them. We love to give it to them good food. Awesome. Our responsibility is to feed them that they can come over here, that they enjoy their food, and they live with the pleasure. And, and speaking of food, Megan's going to show you some of the food items that we have. Um, they've been very nice to show us some of their appetizers, entrees. We have a few glasses on the table as well. And uh, now we're going to talk chef. JC. Hello. How are you? So you got yeah. you got a nice history, a nice culinary background. You've worked at a few good restaurants. For those that don't know you, tell us about yourself. Well, I started in Minnesota, and I uh, it's how I become a, a chef, basically. Yeah. And then five years ago, I moved to Naples, and then this is was how I start. I came and introduced Alfredo. He's like, okay, let's try see what you have, and then I worked with Alfredo for a couple years. But for some reason, I moved to Orlando, and I worked for this uh, chef, Chef Emeril Lagasse, for two years. Say that one more time. Emeril Lagasse. I just want people to hear that. That's who you worked for. Emeril Lagasse. <laughs> so, uh, there is in City Walk, and... Well, that I was, must have been a fun experience. 
I mean, there was a lot of walking, you know, because you got to park all the way down. It was like 25 <laughs> minutes walking. And then, you work with Emro, and you're going to talk to me about walking? We want to talk about Emro. <laughs> no, <laughs> I know, but the thing is that it is too far to walk. And then, plus, you have to pass security all the time, every yeah. day. So, I mean, you know, so I started there, and I was there. And then Alfredo was like, we like to come back. I was like, you know, I got a Good nice opportunity. Got a nice opportunity, and I got a nice uh why not, you know, let's go back yeah, and... why not? So a lot of these foods, I mean, some of these are classics for you. Um, and then some of these are new items on your, on, from you, from yeah, your special. From so, so this is a, a... Well, let's start here in the appetizer, because this everyone wants to see. Why, okay. what is, what's going on over here? Well, I try to make like a nice concept for, for uh, the clients, for the customers. So see, when you come to the to serve the food to the client, so you're gonna go and then place it like this, right? So it's nice for the yeah, to see that. for the um, customer to see something different, you know, outside the box. Presentation is important, and you probably got that over there from Emerald, right? Yes. So, so beautiful, what's in that salad? I make this um, nice and lemon vinaigrette, and it's octopus salad with oh, onions. So that's the octopus right there. Onions and celery. Beautiful. And beautiful. Uh, some herbs. And it, where'd you, what inspired this dish? What inspired that, the glass and the whole, of course I'm going to taste this. Well, of course, <laughs> go ahead. Well, I, I like the, the customers to have a nice experience to a nice, you know, you come into a nice place and you expect something, you know, outside better. So it's what I trying to bring to the next level. Yeah, awesome. And so we went through the first appetizer. What do we have here on this beautiful plate? I got, I got these raviolis stuffing with burrata cheese. Go ahead and cut, the, cut that open for everyone. Everyone wants to see what it looks like inside. And I got these nice pesto sauce. Hey um, guys, if you guys have any questions while, while we're cutting the food up, while we're eating, Restaurant Week, May 31st to June 13th. Uh, we're presented by Mercedes Benz Benita Springs and the Greg Norman Collection. And look at that beautiful ravioli. What's inside that? That's the burrata cheese. The burrata cheese inside the ravioli. Yes. And the green sauce outside? Pesto sauce. Pesto. Creamy pesto sauce. Beautiful, beautiful. And is that the portion size that you're going to get during restaurant? Yes, week? of course. Awesome. Five pieces each. Five pieces each. Now, Alfredo, I mean, you've been here a very long time. Six years. Six years. Oh. And Ooh. six years and... You've had some dishes that are staples, that are signatures for you, and I know I've seen this. So I want you to tell us about this beautiful fish. Well, that's a snapper francese. It's very tasty fish. It's made by white wine, lemon, and butter. That's it, it's simple stuff. Very simple. It's not heavy, but it's very tasty fish. Beautiful. And, and everybody's happy when they eat that fish because it's so light, it's so tasty. So this is more the of pasta, a, a yeah. summer. This is like the spring dish. It's, it's a summer. You know, it's not heavy. And the people, they can eat day and night. Beautiful. Tell us one more time. So what is this dish again? That's a snapper francese. Snapper francese. Yes. With white wine, lemon, and butter. It's excellent. Oh, my God. Everybody loves that fish. I've had this dish so many times for restaurant week. And it's, it's the same every single time. It doesn't change. And how long have you had this on your menu? Well, I have it. That's six years now. Six years. Yeah. Six years of this classic food. Um, guys, it's Restaurant Week, May 31st to June 13th, presented by Mercedes-Benz of Benita Springs and the Greg Norman Collection at Miramar Outlets. For those that don't know and haven't been following us, one dollar from every meal sold is going to our restaurant, our Sizzle Sabas Florida FGCU Food and Beverage Scholarship. And speaking of the scholarship and really trying to help the local high school graduates, how is something like that important? Do you guys need help in the kitchen? Do you see a need for it? Well, let's put it this way. Right now, we are short of the hand that people, we don't have it for, for example, we don't have it the kitchen staff, or we don't have it even floor. So there's a need for employees? We, it's need for employees. So we try to bring the people to work, to go in culinary school, mm -hmm. to learn more, and so the people, they oh, can I mean. work. And this <laughs> way, also, it's good for them that they know, that they know people. Because around with the people, when you're working with the culinary school and all that, and you're cooking, you, you know the people in the floor too, and customers when they come in, you know their name and everybody, so they're happy. Beautiful, beautiful. Awesome. Now, so we've gone through some appetizers, we've gone through an entree. Tell us about this barbecue shrimp salad. This barbecue shrimp is being collected by my JC, 
exactly chef, which is with the bacon and barbecue sauce. It's beautiful shrimp, nice, tasty, and I like you to try it. Where do you guys get your shrimp from? Oh, we got it. Oh, Cheney Brothers over here also. Beautiful, it's nice big, local company. Uh, yes, here. nice company. Very, very that is well much done. bigger than I anticipated cutting, but I'm gonna eat it anyways. So <laughs> I'm just gonna eat it. Keep eating. Don't stop. You should eat with us. That's delicious. Is it that good? Oh my god. Chef, what's your favorite out of the stuff that's on the table? I think my favorite is the the barbecue shrimp. It's one of my creations. Uh, I want to put something light, you know, yeah. to start your meal. The nice appetizer, you know. Yeah, and that's one of the appetizers. Yeah, one, that's one of the appetizers. It went right to yeah, the we went to, uh, to the <laughs> This is an appetizer, and this is an appetizer. Okay. Um, no, this is uh, yeah, that's the, an, salad, the, yeah, salad. the yeah, the salad. Yeah, the salad and entrees. So, so we have the barbecue shrimp. Uh, was it arugula salad? Some olives. What else is in that? Very simple stuff. I'm talking to you while you're eating food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've gone through some of your entrees. Obviously, you know, we want to wrap things up. If this was restaurant week, we would, this is how we'd finish. So lead us to the water, take us home. Okay, this is uh, one of my recipes, the crumble. And um, how do you make your crumble? You make the crust, so you would put um, granier, vanilla, egg, heavy cream, and I put a little bit of uh, um, amaranto. Beautiful. And Megan, so Megan's on the camera today. If you see any comments or questions, feel free to let us know. Guys, it's restaurant week, May 31st, June 13th. We do have this beautiful creme brulee on here. And as you, if you've been watching any of our videos, I'm eating every single time. Um, Guy is not. That's why I'm up 12 pounds and he's down 12 pounds. Guy is saying yum. <laughs> yeah, I bet he is saying yum. He told me yesterday, he said, um, make sure you bring back a salad. <laughs> no, we're not bringing back a salad. <laughs> JC, thank you so hey, much. You we much. appreciate thank everything. You, Alfredo, it's always pleasure. a pleasure. pleasure. Guys, we are wrapping up restaurant. We're wrapping up Cafe Alfredo's here in the Vanderbilt shops. It's restaurant week next week, May 31st to June 13th. One dollar from every single meal sold is going to our Sizzle Southwest Florida Food and Beverage Scholarship. The events presented by Mercedes-Benz and Benita Springs. Also the Greg Norman Collection of at Miramar Outlets. If you guys have any questions, concerns, um, want to see the menus, want to see the restaurants, go to sizzlerestaurantweek.com. With the scholarship, we're using the hashtag Dine with Purpose. Also, dine, uh, hashtag Sizzle SWFL. And we are actually wrapping up here. We're going to downtown Naples. We're going to be at Barbatella, another great Italian restaurant. A little different, obviously. Has their own texture, has their own flair. But uh, we're going to get off here so we can eat. Thank you guys so much.